In celebration of the release of the new Fallout 4 game, I'm gonna walk you through a real version of a nuclear war scenario. It's some scary stuff, so make sure you stick around for the full video. I'm Nick, welcome to All Our Questions, where I search the internet for questions that we all want answers to, and I answer them. Today's question is, what would happen in a nuclear war? We're gonna find out, and we're starting right now. The aftermath of a nuclear war is terrifying. Take a look at the Fallout series of games to see what a post-nuclear war world might look like. If you're not familiar with the Fallout series of games, you can click here to check out the Schooled Zone's latest video on the latest release of Fallout. Paul, who runs the Schooled Zone, is like us. He likes to learn and share new things. So because of that, he actually breaks down the science and gives other great information about the virtual worlds that the games exist in. Anyways, currently there are more than 16,000 nuclear weapons in the world and 1,800 of those are ready to fly within a minute's notice. There are currently nine countries that have developed nuclear weapons. The United States, Russia, UK, France, China, India, Pakistan, Israel, and North Korea. If in some future conflict, if these countries decided to use their nukes against each other, you wouldn't have much time to react and you definitely wouldn't have much time to get yourself into a vault tech vault. The reason for that is because these missiles travel fast and the tech used to detect them, well, it's not 100% reliable. At the end of the day though, even if you got to notice a few hours in advance, you know, it's still not gonna help you much. And you gotta keep that kind of stuff in mind when you're turning around and running back in for your kid's little stuffed animal that they left that they just couldn't be in a nuclear attack without, like they do in the movies. And real quick, let me know in the comments down below what's the first thing that you would do if you knew that there was an impending nuclear attack. Now, let's say that a nuclear attack is imminent. How exactly would you be warned that it was gonna happen? Well, if you're watching TV at the time, all broadcasts would be replaced with an emergency message letting you know what's going on, what to do, where to go, and things like that. You might receive an emergency phone call or an emergency text message, or if you're on Twitter, you're probably gonna know that the attack is coming before they even launch the missiles in the first place, because that's kind of how Twitter works. Hashtag lighting up the burners. To be honest though, it really doesn't matter how prepared you are in the event of a nuclear attack. The end result is gonna be complete, total destruction. Currently, the average strength of a nuclear bomb is 700 kilotons, which is 40 times the strength of the ones dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki back in 1945. A weapon of this strength detonated a mile above a large city would vaporize everything within a one mile radius in the first second. The temperature in the center of this fireball would be up to 100 million degrees Celsius, depending on the weapon used. For a little perspective, that's hotter than the core of our sun. Within a few more miles of the detonation, the temperature would be so high that everything would just burst into flames. Anyone located within a five mile radius of the blast zone would die almost instantly, and anybody within a 15 mile radius would at the very least have third degree burns. And it obviously gets worse. If a full scale nuclear attack were to take place, this scenario would be repeated thousands of times all around the world, killing millions and millions of people. Those who did survive the initial blast would probably wish that they hadn't because within a few hours, the effects of the fallout, which is the residual radioactive material that gets propelled up into the upper atmosphere during a nuclear blast would start to take place. As horrible as all of that would be, the worst devastation would actually come in the weeks, months, and years following a nuclear Nuclear attack because huge amounts of radiation would start getting absorbed into the bodies of the survivors through breathing the air and drinking contaminated water and eating contaminated food because the radiation would completely contaminate our food sources. Once the radioactive isotopes enter the human body, they really start to wreak havoc. Large doses of radiation would cause almost certain death after a few days of vomiting, dizziness, and your skin falling off. Lower doses would cause a person's immune system to be completely destroyed. And that of course would lead to infections and sickness, which would also lead to eventual death. Even lower doses of radiation after a nuclear war would cause long-term effects on humanity through cancers and genetic mutations, but you wouldn't find people walking around with two heads or eight arms or anything like that. If enough dust and ash were shot up into the atmosphere, then it would completely block out the sun, which would cause a nuclear winter. This would make it extremely difficult for any ecosystem to survive because plants would be starved of their energy source. And now some good news. The scientific consensus is that in the event of a full scale nuclear war, the science community seems to think that the human race as a species would survive. But of course, civilization as you and I know it would cease to exist and everybody would be contaminated with radiation. So 
maybe it's something we should continue to avoid. To check out how all of this would play out in a video game, you can click here, or you can click the link down in the description below, or head over to the School Zone right here on YouTube, where Paul gives amazing facts and trivia about video games in the context of his walkthroughs. Don't forget to leave a comment down below and let me know what you would do in the event of an impending nuclear attack. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to hit the subscribe button somewhere on this page so you can get more answers to all our questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.